building community in your class from the beginning is so important. This is the first step. This is the foundation of successful teaching. Beginning of which quarter is always the most crucial time for helping students understand your class expectations, your class norms. And that really sets the tone for the entire quarter. So you could use the first two weeks of your class to help your students develop relationships with each other and also you, the instructor, and build that community. It's going to be very, very important. If we're talking about creating inclusive and equitable learning experiences in your classes, building a community, helping students build relationship with each other is going to be the foundation of that uh, successful learning community that you will be building throughout the quarter. I'm going to share some several strategies by modalities now. If you're teaching online classes or hybrid classes, and if that uh, if you're teaching a hybrid class, those strategies would work for that online portion of your hybrid class. If you're teaching online or hybrid classes, this is what you can do in the beginning of each quarter. This is just some suggestions, best practices that worked for me and other instructors who I who shared uh, what they do in their classroom. Record and post a very short three to five minute video announcement, video announcement, I would highlight video, video announcement welcoming new students to your class. What it does, it helps establish that first initial contact between you and your students from the from the very beginning. You can just post and publish and post that video on day one of your online class or hybrid class. And you, in your video, you can, I would emphasize that it needs to be a video announcement because it's so important, especially if you do teaching online and it's an asynchronous class and your students don't really see you, that video announcement is going to be very, very helpful. So you can well uh, welcome your students. You can introduce yourself in that video announcement. You can talk about important course requirements and your expectations. It, doesn't need to be long. It can be it can be really short, three to five minutes. But it helps create that instructor presence that is so so important. You can also start your quarter with a synchronous Zoom session, or if you're using any other virtual uh, platform, video conferencing platform. I've done that several times in my training courses. Training courses are usually the ones that I facilitated were usually asynchronous, and I would start a new training uh, course with a synchronous session for all my participants. And I knew that not everybody would be able to join. It, usually, I, I know this is like 50% of the training participants would be able to join, but that's okay because I would record the session and I would post the recording in the course. For that, for the ones who, who would come, we would start with some fun icebreakers to, you know, develop relationship, to get to know each other a little bit more. We would start some in, with some int introductions, with some games, then I would talk about the training, important requirements, participation, grading requirements, and things like this. It would be very short, and then I would record the whole session, and I would post it in the course for everyone who couldn't make it. Schedule and start in your quarter with this live Zoom session is very important because the one, if your students could come, that is a great opportunity for them to bond and develop relationship. But of course, uh, you would always have students who wouldn't be who wouldn't be able to make it right so what you could do in addition to that is to also set up a discussion board for week one and you can call it to introduce yourself and it could be i actually think it needs to be a graded assignment that would be the first assignment for your uh, week one of your class. Students would introduce themselves, would talk about their hobbies. You can post like a short, fun icebreaker and students would post and that would be an opportunity for them to get to know each other a little bit more. And that would be a way to create that welcoming environment in your class from uh, day one.
Now, if you're teaching in-person classes, also if you're teaching hybrid classes, those strategies that strategies that I will share now would work for the in-person portion of your hybrid class. Again, similar to what we already discussed, start your first class with introductions, icebreakers, fun games. Consider how those activities can lead to a productive and welcoming classroom environment. Also, it is very important to spend your first class, some portion of your first class, to give a course overview, to discuss important class expectations, for example, your expectations for class time, uh, outside of class time, your assessment strategies, communication guidelines, anything that is important. So communicating that, that information during the first class is going to be key and will set the tone for the for the entire quarter. Of course, you will probably need to repeat that information again and again uh, several times, but starting with introductions, with icebreakers to help students develop relationship and also giving a course overview is going to be very a very powerful strategy.